live from Studio 30. Ginulat ng Pepe Coin ang crypto world sa pagpalo nito sa 500 million market cap. Isa sa mga leading newspapers sa UK nag-offer ng free NFTs na related sa coronation ni King Charles III. Coinbase maglo-launch ng Bitcoin and Ethereum International Exchange. Digital bank na Revolut magsisimula na rin mag-offer ng crypto investments in Brazil. Auction House ang Sotheby magbubukas ng sariling blockchain-based NFT marketplace. At sa United States naman, White House pinulong ang ilang mga AI leaders para sa ethical AI development. Tutunghayan din natin ang iba't ibang mga kaganapan na nagtrending at paparting sa loob ng Web3. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang dating mga Web3 news dito lang sa... Web3 Chronicles! Magandang gabi, Middle East and the rest of Asia. Good evening din sa Europe at isang very good morning naman sa kabilang panig ng mundo, the United States of America. Welcome po muli dito sa Web3 Chronicles! We have another breaking news partner. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang BRICS serie. Malakas ang balita na limang Middle East countries ang gusto ng umanib sa BRICS groups of nations. Ito ang Saudi Arabia, Iran, United Arab Emirates, Egypt, at Bahrain. BRICS has been planning to, to make their own currency. Lalo na siguro pag sumali tong Middle East, feeling ko mas magiging bright ang future ng currency nila. Yeah, absolutely. As in, ilang weeks ito, maybe we're three or four weeks of yeah. re constantly reporting about the BRICS yes. nation. So, uh, lat po, all of those new segments, we're all trying to say one thing. They want to fight the U.S. dollar. That's and cool. when that finally happens and they overthrow the U.S. dollar. And, isa pang breaking news natin, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman nag-release ng crypto wallet app na World App. Ito ay mula sa kanyang WorldCoin project. This, this wallet allows users to store at mag-transfer ng crypto tokens by the Polygon blockchain. Para sa mga hindi nakakalam, ang OpenAI ay ang creator ng ChatGPT. So, partner, posible ba itong magkaroon ng partnership with this application na ginawa nila and ChatGPT? Well, one thing's for sure, no? this tie-up between AI and crypto is going to be an extremely big thing. Considering that Sam Altman is the one heading this project, yes. might, might have the power to ask overthrow Binance, Coinbase, or whatever. Let's see. Actually, breaking news that in this week, American crypto exchange the Bitrex files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. This is among the things that they are saying. This is the fact that they have 100,000 creditors with estimated liabilities and assets within the $500 million to $1 billion range. Kasabay nito ay sinampahan pa sila ng kaso ng U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC dahil hindi sila nag-register dito. So, you have to take note, the only thing that's happening here is that the SEC is suing Bitrex since mid-April. So Bitrex now had to file for back bankruptcy to protect themselves. And the problem here right now is that sobrang dami kasi customers, yeah. they need their funds back. So they how will this affect the... Crypto trading in the U.S. It's, it's, this is a very big thing because and dami na nagsasara na exchanges. Yeah. Since since last year, because of you know criminal charges and being getting sued by the SEC, that's one thing. Ang hirap talaga may implement ang crypto even to this day. Yeah. That's the only thing we're gunning for right now. Yan ang ating breaking news for today. Ngayon naman ay simulan natin ng ating balitan with our take three. Ginulat ng Pepe Coin ng crypto world sa pagpalo nito ng 500 million ng kanilang market cap. Ito ay dahil sa 2,100% rise mula na ng issue ito last April. So, partner, ano bang masasayang mo dito sa Pepe Coin na to? Maybe it's, a, it's another meme coin. Yeah, is this the start of 
the rise of meme coins. Meme coins have been rising <laughs> since time immemorial yeah, in the crypto space. Panahon pa ng mga aso. <laughs> yeah, para ang dami naman talaga nagsasabi, even the big, at the beginning of the Pepe coin, you gotta invest in this. Kasi kung ano nangyari sa Shiba at nangyari sa Doge, mangyayari daw dito. And it did happen. Yes. So, ang sad kasi, I'm not sure if it's sad, pero imagine if another meme coin comes up, like whatever. I'll get, it, I'll get, I'll, I'll be investing in that meme coin. Kasi yeah. ito, to be honest, hindi ako nakasakay sa Pepe coin. Yeah, see, that, <laughs> that's the mindset. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, pero let's see, no, with the next meme coin, if it will really start the signal of the rise of meme coins. Samantara, si Nene Kingdom naman nag-release ang pahayag ang The Evening Standard ng free NFTs commemorating the coronation of King Charles III. Ito ay nag-feature ng painting ng St. Edward's Crown na centerpiece ng Crown Jewels. Free ito sa Nifty Gateway Marketplace. So, uh, these are just small te- steps ng UK para siguro ma-integrate ang NFTs sa bansa nila. Yeah, definitely. We've been reporting about the United Kingdom implementing so many crypto developments yes. in the past few weeks. So this is one of them. Yeah. Imagine getting a free NFT of King Charles III. For sure, you would want to jump into the crypto space again. Yes. So good job to the UK on that. At rounding up our take three this week, Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States, ay maglo-launch ng kanilang Bitcoin and Ethereum International Exchange. This will expand access to digital assets for institutional clients at magiging hakbang din para sa kanilang global expansion. This will be really open for crypto trading for a lot of people, partner. Yeah. Kasi in, dito mo talaga may kitang laganap na yung ano, crypto in yes. the US. Coinbase, no, that's the biggest exchange they have. And then now, they're really trying to say, you gotta jump in yeah. right now. It, the, the decentralized revolution is happening right now. Yep. Ilan lang yan sa mga balitang bumandera sa loob ng Web3 this past week. Ngayon naman ay alamin natin ang ilang mga happenings dito sa Web3 with our... Spotlight! Naumuna sa ating spotlight this week, Ang digital bank sa Europa na Revolut magsisimula na rin mag-offer ng crypto investments in Brazil kung saan may 10 million crypto users. Mission ng Revolut na magbukas ng borderless economy gamit ang mga financial products na accessible sa lahat. Ayon sa kanila, simula pa lang ito ng mas malawak na vision para sa crypto. So, partner, kanina pinag-usapan natin yung pag-expand ng Coinbase. Yeah. So, Last week naman, last two weeks, pinag-usapan natin ang Visa nag-integra- yeah. nag-integrate sa cryptocurrency. Pati la- last week is MasterCard. Yeah. So, ikaw ba? Magpapaiwan ka pa ba dito sa adaptation na to ng cryptocurrency? Uh, absolutely not. It's so clear everyone's trying to revolutionize yes, their definitely. industries for the blockchain, for the decentralized industry. Okay, so kung yung Revolut na mismo nagsabi na we're gonna jump in on the train, as we always say here on Web3 Chronicles, we should. You should jump in on yeah. the train. <laughs> Samantala, nung unang auction house ng Sotheby's, magbubuhas ang sarili ng blockchain-based NFT marketplace. Palalawakin na lang nga ng Sotheby's ang kanilang NFT art selection sa pagbubuhas ng kanilang marketplace para sa mga digital art collectors. So, uh, itong Sotheby's na to is kilalang um, auction for properties. Yeah. I mean, Kung, kung ang isang uh, malaking kumpanya na to is nag a na sa NFT world, what more pa siguro sa mga susunod na taon? Diba? Yeah, this is one of the oldest auction houses in the entire world. And now they're also, once again, revolutionizing their industry and opening their gateways for the NFT space. So imagine they used to auction just whatever, like all kinds of things, and now they're auctioning NFTs. Yes. So if you don't buy NFTs today, why would you not buy them right now? Everyone's buying them. Kapi of our spotlight this week sa United States, nakipagpulong nga with Vice President Kamala Harris sa White House ang ilang mga AI leaders para sa ethical AI development. Aminado ang Vice Presidente ng US na AI is one of the most powerful technologies of our time, pero dapat munang alamin ang mga risks na involved dito. Parang, we don't even have to discuss anything here. The US is recognizing the potential of the use of AI for the advancement of whatever. And now they're holding conferences to see, hmm, should we really try to use AI? Yeah, as, ang AI, uh, it could like uh, develop itself. Yeah. 
na to the point na pwede siyang maging risky. So, dapat malaman natin yung pros and cons ng paggamit ng AI. Yeah. No matter how you weigh it, there is an incredibly big potential of risk against humanity. And I believe na naniniwala ka dyan, partner. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Silipin naman natin ngayon ang paggalaw ng market sa loob ng Cryptoverse. Narito ang ating... The, the Rundown! Rundown. Sa loob ng isang linggo, Bitcoin went up and down same with Ethereum. But meme coins are surprising on the upswing, while NFTs are slightly enjoying a downtime. Kagaya na lang ng Bitcoin, nakapag-process ito ng mahigit na 568,300 transactions the past week na mas mataas ng 78,000 sa nakaraang bullrun nito. Samantala, matapos ang launch ng SUI token, bumaba naman ito ng 37% pero umabot sa $1 billion in volume. Mula nga na magsimula ang SUI sa trading nito, it has fallen roughly 37% but ang market cap nito ay umabot sa $716 million na mas mataas sa inabot ng Pepe Coin. At last but not the least, ating the rundown, Ethereum gas fee surges sa 12-month high dahil na rin sa pagdating ng Pepe Coin frenzy. Tumas sa 12-month high na 50% ng gas price of Ethereum transaction fee. Mula sa dating 87 GWAY, lumagpas ito sa 150 GWAY. Ang GWAY ay 1 billion of an Ether sa basic unit ng Ethereum gas. Ngayon ang mga paggalaw sa nakalipas na linggo sa loob ng Web3. Ngayon naman ay alamin natin ang ilang mga upcoming happenings dito lang sa... Next! Isa sa pinakamalaking Bitcoin conference ang gaganapin sa Miami Beach Convention Center this May kung saan magsasama-sama ang ilang mga crypto leaders, founders at marami pang ibang para umaten ng mga meetups, conferences, networking, socials at even concerts. Inaasahan ding aten dito ang prospective U.S. presidential candidate na si Robert Kennedy Jr. Inaabangan din naman ang pagsisimula ng Bhutan at ng kanilang crypto mining sa Himalayas na bibigyan nila ng initial na 500 million fund. Pinungunan ito ng investment arm na Bhutan na BitDeal Technologies at fundraising ay magsisimula sa katapusan ng May. Isa pang aabangan ay ang pagpasok ng mga gambling games sa Solana. Ito ay gawa ng bagong gaming studio na BitBlock Games. Gagawa ito ng mga player versus player gambling games sa gagamit ng Solana-based platform. Para daw ito sa mga crypto degenerates or risk-loving traders. Ngayon naman ay let's cross over to what's happening on The Good Side. Para sa aming The Good Side this week, another win for cryptocurrency as Nigeria's National Blockchain Policy gets government approval. Inaprubahan na nga ng gobyerno ng Nigeria ang kanilang National Blockchain Policy para magkabuo sila ng regulatory framework para sa adoption ng crypto technology. Lumalawak na nga nakapag-adopt ng cryptocurrency and Africa is on the way to becoming a promising crypto destination. Yan ang roundup ng ilang mga balita at kaganapan sa loob ng Web3. Ako po si Adrian. At ako naman po si Sheprod. Makita-kita tayo muli next Friday as we give you what's trending and what's up and coming dito lang sa inyong bagong pagkakatiwalaan pagdating sa Web3 News and Happenings. Web3 Chronicles! Web3 Chronicles. There you go, partners. Hopefully.